Hi, fellow believers in Christ. Um, do you ever feel like maybe you were born yesterday? I know I do sometimes because sometimes I just feel like I've done something so stupid, but I didn't do it with any evil intent or any knowledge of sin at all. Like, like I deliberately was trying not to sin, but I still made a mistake, you know? And uh, it's because my mind is not very smart. I have a human mind and I'm in this corrupt world in a corrupt body. So my mind isn't perfect, you know? Um, in heaven, we'll have perfect minds. Now, we won't know everything in heaven because we'll never be God. He knows everything. We'll never know everything. But we will have a perfectly functioning mind. And we won't have the frailty and the feebleness that we have in our minds now. Because right now, you know, because of aging, which you don't age in heaven, but here we age. Here we have um, fatigue, ment which includes mental fatigue. We also have environmental factors that mess with our mind and environmental toxins that cause our mind to not work, work very well. And um, we forget things. We, we don't know when people are lying to us. And so, I mean, sometimes you can tell when people are lying to you, but usually you can't. And we, we can't read people's minds, even if they would want to tell us something, but they're unable. Like, for instance, a child, um, when a child has needs, you can't read their mind. You have to be, you have to have the experience to figure out what the child needs because you're, you aren't going to know just by asking them. A lot of times they can't tell you. Or, for instance, we forget things a lot or we make plans that are definitely not sin, um, but but we, because we don't know everything that God knows, our plans are in vain because he has a special path for us to be on, each of us individually. And he not only the righteous path, path but also the individual path that each of our lives are supposed to take. And so you may start making a decision that isn't sinful at all, like you just want to go to such and such college. There's no sin in that. But it's not the path that he wants for you. Or you want to... Um, have a relationship with such and such a person or you want to live in such and such a city or you want to, you know, uh, go to such and such a church. But but it's not his path for you, even though none of those things in and of themselves are a sin. So like, um, yeah, so um, so people who he people who acknowledge him in all their ways he will direct their paths. This is his promise to us in Proverbs 3, 6. And I've seen this work not only in my life, but in other people's lives as well. And you can see examples of this with King David in the Bible. King David was constantly acknowledging the Lord and the Lord directed his paths. There's many other ways his life could have turned. Um, but because um, in battles, in relationships, in all kinds of ways. And yes, he did make, he did sin uh, you know, um, one time in particular. Um, but he always acknowledged the Lord. And when he wasn't in sin, when he was acknowledging the Lord, the Lord was always directing his path. So um, this is this is the remedy for the frailty of the human mind. This verse right here, Proverbs 3, 6. Because our minds are infirm and frail and f totally fallible. You know, even with all the best intentions of the uh, in the world and with all the love for Jesus in our hearts, we can still make innocent mistakes that will take us off the path that he wants us to be on. And this is the remedy. Acknowledge him in all thy ways. Um, for instance, you might pray to the Lord before you go to the grocery store and just thank him for giving you the the gas and the vehicle to go to the grocery store and the money to buy things. And when you get there, you could end up being a, a massive blessing to somebody else because uh, the Lord will work through you to touch somebody and minister to them when you, whoever you bump into. And it, it'll be what some people call a divine appointment is when God has two people come in contact with each other for his purposes so that one person can minister to the other or so that both of them can minister to each other. And I've encountered divine appointments in my life, and I'm sure you have too. And also, he can protect you from harm because there's no sin whatsoever in going to the grocery store and getting your needs met, right? 
but if you pray before you go, he could cause a roadblock that would um, cause you to not make it there on time, or you might have to take a detour and go to a different place, and then later on you find out that some um, unsavory event took place there that you were not taking a part of, that you were not a part of because you couldn't make it. Um, or uh, like for me, a lot of times when people um, slow me down on the road, um, I've kind of learned from experience that it's best to just thank Jesus. Even, you know, when I start to feel really impatient and irritated, I'm just like, oh, okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you don't want me to go faster because maybe Jesus is preventing me from getting into an accident ahead or something else, or maybe he wants to show me something, you know, before I get to the destination that I'm planning on going to, he wants to show me another place where he wants me to go. And I, I've actually had experiences that I call dates with Jesus. <laughs> and it's where I've had times where Jesus has led me to places and, and I've had really wonderful experiences with him just because I just trusted him and he led me somewhere and amazing things happened. And it's just, um, just wonderful. So also at the time that I went to college, you know, it's no sin to pick a college and go to college. You know, that's not a sin, but he has a path for everybody and he may want you at one place over another. And so in my, when I, when I went to college, when I went to get my undergraduate degree, um, the only reason I chose that college mentally was because of location. That was it. That was the only reason I chose that college was because it was a public school and it, it and so it would be cheaper and because it was close to home so that I wouldn't have to spend a lot of gas and have a vehicle to go there. And um, or at least I wouldn't have to have a vehicle with me all the time to go to school. So um but, but at that time, I was praying to the Lord every day. I was trying really hard to live with live for him. I was, I was trying so hard not to, not to have any sin in my life. And, um, and because I was acknowledging him, it, it turned out, and I know this was no coincidence, that um, my, I ended up going to that college just because of location. But the Lord directed my paths because the program I wanted to be in, which was being an English major, it turned out that that college was fourth ranked fourth in the nation for their English program. <laughs> so I ended up getting a world class education, all because my feeble mind just said location, location, location. That's all my mind cared about. But because I acknowledged the Lord, He directed my paths, and and I ended up getting one of the best educations anybody could ever get who's an English major. So it's just incredible, totally incredible. And um, that was a miracle, you know. And there's been many a job that I have not gotten where God has slammed the door. I, I've been to interviews where they even said, you're one of the top candidates. You gave a great interview. Please come and apply again, but we're not going to hire you. <laughs> and um, and it was always because of the Lord, because he closed doors where he wanted to close doors. You know, he opens doors where he wants to open doors. And um, I remember one job I got, two jobs that I can remember, actually three jobs I remember getting miraculously. Um, I won't go into all the details, but there were three jobs that I got miraculously. I'll just tell you the details of one of them. My mom, you know how mothers are. They always brag about their children. Well, my mom was bragging about me <laughs> to to this other lady, and um, this other lady had a job that she was quitting, and she said, well, if, if your daughter can do all that stuff, you know how moms are, they just really pump it up and say all this great stuff about you. She said, well, if, you're, if your daughter can do all that stuff, then your daughter can do my job. And so that lady recommended me for her job. She, didn't, she never met me in her life. And I, and I went and applied for the job, and I got it. And it was pretty much in the bag before I even applied. And the, the one thing that impressed my employer the most was that I spelled his name correctly on the cover letter for the job. And he said it was awesome that I spelled his name correctly. And that's what sold him. Now, that's a little tiny thing. But the other candidate who had applied had misspelled his name. 
<laughs> so God used a little teeny weeny thing like that to, to, um, to make that guy hire me. But the reason I got the interview initially was because my mom was bragging about me to a complete stranger who I never met. So um, God just uses the most amazing things to cause miracles. And again, at that time in my life, I was acknowledging the Lord. I was praying to him and trying so hard not to sin, you know, on a daily basis. I wasn't born again back then, but I, with everything in me, I was doing my best to follow the Lord, um, even though I was using willpower because back then that was the only thing I knew how to use. Um, I didn't know anything about faith and walking in the spirit and I, all I knew was willpower, and so I was using it to my best ability to, to keep from sinning. So anyway, um, I just wanted to encourage you that you don't have to be smart. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to, you don't have to be God. You just have to acknowledge God in all your ways. And that means giving him glory and honor for everything in your life, praying to him to guide and direct you in every path that you take, thanking him every single day for where he's taking you. And when you do that stuff, he will direct your paths. He will close doors in relationships. He'll close, close in, he'll open doors in careers and close doors in a place to live and open doors in where he wants you to go to school or any other little thing. And he'll also, he can direct the paths of your children as well when you acknowledge him um, in all of your ways. So he's amazing, and, and he gave us this verse because we really, really need it, and I thank him for it. I am so overjoyed that I don't have to have a perfect mind here on earth <laughs> in order to be on the straight path. And, and we need protection from our own minds and our own hearts because our hearts are deceptive, just as the Bible says, and our minds are infirm, just as the Bible says. And so we need protection from that. And so if you if you honor this verse by honoring the Lord in everything and every day, then he will protect you and he will direct you. Okay, I hope that blessed you. Blessed you. <laughs>